Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Ray. So the race for the Director General of the World Trade Organization has been going on and I've done a report previously where I showed you the top five contestants who had been selected at the time. It had been narrowed down to two, which was Nigeria's Dr. Ikonjo Iwela and also uh, the South Korean Trade Minister called Yo Myung-hee as the final two contenders. So it emerged that Dr. Okonjo Iwela of Nigeria had received the greatest support to this point by the most of the members of the World Trade Organization, including the European Union as well. But a US has come out to reject her and does not want her to be the next Director General of the World Trade Organization for a certain reasons, saying the selection process is biased and it is favoring China. One delegation could not support the candidacy of Dr. Ngozi and said they would continue to support South Korean Minister Yu. That delegation was the United States of America. So I'm going to read uh, for you this article it says, World Trade Organization's bid to select a new leader was plunged into uncertainty on Wednesday after the United States rejected the Nigerian woman proposed as the global trade watchdog's next director general. Just uh, days before the U.S. election, in which trade is a hot topic, Washington struck another blow at the WTO, which U.S. President Donald Trump has described as horrible and biased towards China. The Trump administration has already paralyzed the world TO's role as a global arbiter on trade by blocking appointments to its appeals panel. Now it threatens to render it leaderless for weeks or months to come. The World Trade Organization itself has called a meeting for the November 9th, less than a week after the election, by which time it hopes to have secured full backing for Nigerians, Dr. Ngonzi Okonjo Iwela. The decision is to be approved by consensus, however, meaning any of the 164 World TO members could block appointment. I think the overwhelming preference of every one of our members is to decide by consensus and consultations will be held between now and the 9th of November to try and achieve that consensus. After weeks of consultations, three WTO ambassadors known as the Troika charged with finding successor to Brazilian Roberto Azevedo, who was the director general that stepped down previously, announced at a meeting in Geneva on Wednesday that the former Nigerian finance minister should be the next chief as she had secured cross-regional backing. Quote, all of the delegations that expressed their views today expressed a very strong support for the process, for the Troika and for the outcome except for one, said the WTO spokesperson, Keith Rockwell, told reporters after the closed door meeting, specified that the one that did not support was the United States. The U.S. Trade Representative's office later released a statement officially backing the only other remaining candidate, South Korean Trade Minister, Yong Myung-hee, praising her as successful trade negotiator with the skills needed to lead a trade body at a very difficult time. Quote, it must be led by someone with real hands-on experience in the field. It said in a possible dig at the Nigerian candidate, whom critics say lacks technical knowledge of multilateral trade skills. A spokesperson for Dr. Okonjo Iwela said she was immensely humbled by the backing of the WTO selection committee and hoped for a swift conclusion to the process. Next steps are uncertain, but WTO's Rockwell, who is their spokesperson, said there is likely to be frenzied activity before the November 9th meeting to secure the required consensus. It was not immediately clear if the outcome of the U.S. vote would affect the U.S. position on Dr. Okonjo Iwela's appointment. By then, Trump may be heading a lame dark administration. Many members, including China and United States, had declined to name their preference publicly before Wednesday, although some African, Caribbean, and other states had voiced support for Okonjo Iwela during the fourth month selection process the European Union endorsed her on October 26th. 
The leadership void was created after outgoing World Tio chief Azevedo Roberto stepped down a year early in August. The WTO is currently being steered by four deputies. Okonjo Iwela is 66 years old and she is a former finance minister of Nigeria and a World Bank managing director, would face considerable challenges with rival economies, be carrying amidst rising tensions and protectionism during coronavirus-induced trade plunge. Dr. Okonjo Iwela, a development expert, has branded herself as a doer, saying she has the political clout to command influence in capitals. Currently, she is the chair of Gavi Vaccine Alliance Board. She has also said that WTO should play a role in helping poorer countries access COVID-19 drugs and vaccines. Dr. Okonjo Iwela, though, is still a positive, and she tweeted, happy for the success and continued progress of our World Trade Organization Director General Bid. Very humble to be declared the candidate with the largest, uh, broadest support among members and most likely to attract consensus. We move on to the next step on November 9th. Despite the hiccups, we keep the positivity going on. A Dr. Iwela, if she goes through, she would be the first African to hold uh, this position and definitely the first uh, female as well. No African leader has held this position before. So USA though uh, is trying to paralyze her from holding this position. A uh, Trump uh, doesn't want her from what we see and thinks the whole process is biased and thinks she will be on China's side if she goes through. But uh, share your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think of US and Donald Trump not supporting Nigeria's Dr. Okonjo Iwela to be the next Director General of the World Trade Organization? In addition to that, she is not only Nigerian, but she is also a US citizen, having worked in the US for a very long time. Uh, share your thoughts and let us know what you think. Check out my YouTube channel channel Ray Kimbabazi, my Twitter and Instagram also at Ray Kimbabazi and see you on the next story. Bye.